convicted Sobantu family murderer and Jabulondorf who gets five life sentences for three murders and two rapes. The court says Ndlovu did not show any remorse. Of course, we also heard the judge saying that uh, he had no empathy, he had no mercy as he committed these atrocious acts. And also speaking to how he cannot explain why he raped seven-year-old Zanande and has not explained why he killed the grandmother, 65-year-old Zanel and Lela, and didn't walk away after overpowering her, saying that uh, he has killed three generations of a family. The judge also asking if he knows, uh, if he has a clear appreciation of the extent and the impact of his actions. Also saying that uh, he came in and broke down a united family and also speaking about how he has traumatized the community because they cannot forget what they saw on the morning after these uh, horrible crimes were committed. Of course, we know that uh, we will be taking you live now to get the latest on the story with our reporter Corinda Jagmohan. Corinda, um, the community and family members must be relieved that uh, justice has been served. Absolutely relieved. In fact, still feeling the trauma of what happened to three generations of the Ndlela family. My colleague, Spongisen Ngobande, will show you the crowd outside this court. We're just waiting for the family to come out as they continue to speak to their attorneys about what would be the way forward. Now, the... Uh, culprit here, the convicted murderer and rapist in Jabolo Ndlovu has been handed down five terms of life imprisonment. This will run concurrently, but he does have the opportunity to apply for parole after 25 years. This is something that Judge Lati said uh, she is going to err on the side of caution, although she wanted to prescribe a sentence without parole. She has told the family in court, actually she made them stand up to advise them of their rights, that should Ndlovu want to apply for parole 25 years from now when he is sent to prison for his life term in jail uh, with the opportunity for parole, they have the family, the Ndlela family has the opportunity to oppose this through the legal system. Now as Ndlobo was going back to the court cells, a number of the community members in the gallery stood up and were shouting at Ndlobo, almost wanting to beat him as he was going down into the jail cells. For them it was a traumatic experience to sit and listen to even the post-mortem being read out. Judge Poyo Duati reading out how Zanele, 65-year-old Zanele, was murdered. She was strangulated and uh, there were marks on her neck. Reading out the post-mortem as well of Simangele, 45-year-old Simangele, and what happened to her. And then finally, the most gruesome post-mortem read out was of 7-year-old Zinande. What happened to her? She was raped twice. This is graphic information. She was raped twice in the most gruesome manner. Uh, her, her injuries were read out to the court. And during that time, a number of community members actually got up and stormed out of the court because they couldn't bear to hear what had happened to the little girl. Then, of course... Um, while more of the sentence was being handed down, we also saw a number of community members breaking down in court, including uh, the only surviving aunt of Zinande. And we heard that the aunt uh, is still living with the guilt, believing that if she had taken Zinande away for the holidays last month, perhaps she might have saved the little girl's life. We hear they had been saving up to send her to a better school, and they had great dreams for her, but judge the judge saying that these were shattered by Ndlovu and also adding that one hopes that seven-year-old Zinande was unconscious when she was raped twice by this man. It has been a heartbreaking a morning for the family uh, and indeed they are now, I understand, still speaking to their attorneys about um, what will be the way forward for them. They have already laid to rest the three generations of the Ndlela family but at this point no matter what the sentence that is handed down it will never bring back that family. So indeed a traumatic statement read out today and still women here feeling afraid for their lives. Even this morning we spoke to a family spokesperson, Olani and Lela, and he said that women need to be cautious for their safety. It was of course 
he's concerned about what happened. They still have nightmares. Remember that this happened inside the Ndlela household. It was on Monday evening when a relative finally got into the house. They said that they couldn't access the house for a long time. And when they were able to push doors open, they found the bodies of uh, both Zinande, her mother and her grandmother lying in a pool of blood in one room. A heartbreaking, heart-wrenching sight to think about. In the meanwhile here, the community has been protesting, calling for better action from the side of police as well to protect communities uh, as well as social development to make families uh, be in better, safer spaces. Very well, Karinda Jagmohan, let's uh, leave it there for now as we will, uh, throughout the course of the day, be going back to the Peter Maritzburg High Court just to get some reaction there, an incredibly difficult statement to listen to as the judge read out the graphic nature of a gruesome crime.